Hi, so this is part two of our explanation of a twin plate and a triple plate clutch. And just remember to check out the end of this video where I'll talk about our new website, mrttuned.com.au. So on our previous video, excuse my squeaky voice, um, we were talking about the difference between a single plate clutch factory standard, a twin plate clutch as an aftermarket opportunity, and above me is what we then explain the triple plate clutch for even more um, capacity to retain and control torque, which is what a clutch is designed to do. It's not about power, it's about torque. It's a twisting motion going through the drivetrain generated by the um, mechanical power that comes out of the back of the crankshaft. And the friction surfaces are what gives you additional surface area to share that load as the energy is passed down through the drivetrain, through the gearbox and out through the wheels. So check out our other video. So what you can see here now is the cover of the basket has been bolted down to the mechanical part of the flywheel and you'll remember tucked up underneath here were the was the basket itself with the fingers and the driven plates and in behind there now is the stack of clutches and the um, um, the cover assembly and this part here is what we use and just get that out it's a bit of a um, whoops so in this tool which is basically the cutoff nose of an old gearbox aligns the the um, center assembly so it is um, centralised and a lot easier to be, because that has to fit and match the back of the centralizer of the flywheel. And then we do it all up with this in place. And then we put the gearbox up in place and the nose of the gearbox, which is identical to that, then in theory should slide in. So I've got a gearbox here. I want to show you what it looks like. So let me put that to one side. So there is the part that goes into the flywheel um, spigot bearing because remember that is the supported part of the other end of this shaft when the engine is and the whole assembly is rotating and that is what supports the end of the shaft so it doesn't fail and on that is a uh, pilot bearing which is part of the flywheel and this part here is what takes the mechanical input out of the driven plates which are spinning with the flywheel when your foot is not on the clutch but when your foot is on the clutch the center part of the driven plates um, then becomes stationary and this part of the input shaft of the gearbox stops spinning. So then when you take your foot off the clutch and effectively what happens is this part here slides in and out because we've now converted it to a push clutch because remember this bearing here pushes against the fingers to tilt them inwards which then collapses the clamping load on the basket assembly of all the clutch packs and then allows the clutch to slip and then as you take your foot off the clutch, that slides back just a small amount and it all clamps up together and then it starts driving the gearbox, which then in theory, you've got it in gear and you can take off in first gear and then change gears. So what we've done on this one with this kit is we've converted it from a pull clutch to a push clutch. And what sits on the side here, which is up inside the car, is a replacement slave cylinder, which then pushes against this part here and changes it from a pull clutch to a push clutch using the same finger and um, fork assembly on the back of the assembly. Normally on this particular gearbox on this model car, it's a pull clutch and the factory um, Subaru slave cylinder, which is hydraulically connected to the master cylinder, which is what's on the end of your uh, clutch pedal, is a pull clutch and it normally works the other way. So in this situation, it gives us the ability to mechanically change the way the clutch is designed to work. So there you have it. That's how a clutch works. We'll get this back in the car. We'll do another video update shortly um, when the car's back on the dyno. Remember to check out mrttuned.com.au. Apologise for my squeaky voice. And um, I hope this video has helped you learn more about clutches. Bye for now.